Like and subscribe or you'll have two weeks of bad luck. Ellen DeGeneres is known for being funny and warm and giving. And even though those who watch her show see where this reputation comes from, sometimes the lighthearted banter expected on the show can turn into awkward silences and heavy cringes. Number 10. Hassan Minhaj The host of the popular Netflix series Patriot Act appeared on the show in 2019. After claiming to be a huge fan, Ellen and Minhaj got into an uncomfortable practice session in which we learned how to pronounce Minhaj's name, leading us to wonder just how big of a fan she could possibly be. Even though he's quite patient as she fumbles, he clearly voices his frustration at the fact that the whole world seems to be able to say names like Timothy Chalamet, but nobody seems to get his name right. This may have been embarrassing for Ellen, but he's definitely not wrong. Yeah. And it's Hassan Minhaj. Or no. Or, yes. No. Really? Well, my name is Hassan Minhaj. Oh. I want to do this, I actually want to do this on, on national television. Good. Number nine. Cher. Ellen's boisterous personality and high energy doesn't always seem to gel with Cher. During an offset segment with the iconic singer, the two surprised fans at a local dry bar for a fun hair makeover. While the banter seemed light for the most part, the tension was clearly growing and Cher eventually had clearly had enough, calling Ellen a not so nice name by the end of the clip. Oof. No, you want it wet. You want it wet. I don't want it wet. No, you do. You have to start with it. Number 8. Justin Timberlake Can't Stop the Feeling is one of the most well-known songs by one of pop's most well-known singers. And so when DeGeneres got the lyrics impressively wrong in front of Timberlake himself, well, he wasn't about to let that go. When he brought it up on the show, Ellen appealed to her audience for help. She didn't get any, however, and just to make the situation worse, her DJ played the song to show her just how wrong she was. To be fair, the two had been drinking tequila beforehand, but for such a well-known catchy song, we aren't sure that's an excuse. The exchange was all in jest, however, and Justin's digs were obviously friendly, as he has returned to the show many times. Number 7. Michelle Obama The former First Lady of the United States appeared on a segment of the show in 2016, in which Ellen took her to a CVS pharmacy to prepare her for life when she left the White House. You have to have done something grand, like Harriet Tubman. I, I make the world happy you every day. freed some slaves. <laughs> Throughout the scene, Michelle seems rather unamused by her jokes, calls her annoying, and even compares her to a three-year-old. Tough, although at some point Ellen did actually climb into the shopping cart, so we can't say she didn't deserve that one. Number 6. Sean Hayes Famous actor Sean Hayes may just be as witty and quick on his toes as his character Jack from Will and Grace. Not surprisingly then, his interview with banter pro Ellen DeGeneres was full of wisecracking repartee. Every time Ellen made a joke at the actor's expense, Hayes was right there to fire back. How long was it the first time around before no. y'all got cancelled? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it was longer than your sitcom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Luckily, they both have pretty thick skin, and so the endless barrage of would-be insults was far more funny than it was tense. But Hayes clearly didn't hold back, using everything from her interview skills to her cancelled sitcom as retort material. Number 5. Giada De Laurentiis Chef Giada De Laurentiis would logically be the perfect guest on a cooking segment of Ellen's show. However, her session with the host and other guest Nicole Kidman may have left Ellen to reevaluate that choice. Giada was relentless in her critiques of Ellen's cooking, comparing a rice ball she had made to dog food, and managing to hit a double blow after remarking about Kidman's dish. The woman who can't cook made the perfect ball. A weird comment, to say the least. Oh, ah! oh my god, the woman who can't cook made wow. the perfect ball! That's amazing. Number 4. Dakota Johnson After Ellen not only didn't show up to the famous actress Dakota Johnson's party, but completely forgot she was invited at all. And, um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Johnson had no qualms about sticking it to the host. She quickly shut down Ellen's claim that she hadn't been invited, and was pretty cold about Ellen's seemingly innocent confusion. Why didn't I go? I don't know. Was it, was it? it oh yeah, I had that thing. Um. <laughs> 
but Johnson didn't stop there. After telling Ellen that Tig Natero performed at her party, she commented that Natero was her favorite comedian. She's hilarious. <laughs> She's my favorite comedian. Yeah. Other than you. <laughs> she quickly backtracked with an other than you, but not before we managed to see Ellen's face fall. Ouch. Number three, Wendy Williams. Before Ellen's game of Heads Up with Wendy Williams, she commented on that the media personality was never too shy to give her opinions on anyone or anything. By the end of the game, we all saw what she meant. When describing Justin Bieber, Williams' biggest clue was, some people say that he looks like you. And some people say that he looks like you. I've heard that. You've never heard that? They say it in a good way. Do I look like Justin Bieber? No, they have made the equation. Oh. Well, that's in a good way. I don't mind that. He's cute. He's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen didn't seem delighted by the comparison, although Williams tried to frame it as a compliment. Did it work, you ask? No comment. Number two, Katy Perry. On one of Katy Perry's appearances on The Ellen Show, a light joke quickly turns awkward. After the pop star quips about getting married a second time, Ellen is clearly confused. You got married? I was when I was 25. Were you? And asks about when she had been married before. This would be an innocent enough question, except for the fact that Ellen had interviewed Perry when she had still been married to comedian Russell Brand. Oh, yeah. Remember, you gave me some wedding gifts on this show. Yes, I do. I do. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I <laughs> Katy Perry was quick to remind her of this by informing her that she had in fact been gifted wedding gifts by Ellen on the show. Tough but fair, we think. Number 1. Wanda Sykes Wanda Sykes said what we were all thinking when she appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. DeGeneres' relatable tour spanned a total of four cities, and Sykes had no problem calling her out on this. You were nice enough to give me a... A, a, a jacket from your tour. Yeah, I didn't. You I actually didn't, had tour well, jacket. Well, it made well, up. It wasn't a tour. It, no, it was. No, no, it says tour. Well, it says tour. The actress tore into the fact that not only did Ellen never leave the West Coast on her tour, three of the four cities were in fact in her home state of California. Ellen, of course, took this shade in stride, but we're glad that someone told her that four cities does not make a good tour. What did you think of our list today? Let us know down in the comments if there's any that you think should have been here instead. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this coming all the time. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.